Day. I forgot my sunglasses again on my walk, so I was doing <laughs> this a lot. Right? I can't wait. I lose them every year. Yeah. 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 Buy a new pair. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's a racket. Yeah. <laughs> it was bright out there. <laughs> and it's going to be bright again tomorrow before the rain starts. So you have just one more day, one more day to live it up. Live outside right now, we take you all the way out to Vancouver Waterfront from a Riverview Bank camera, Hotel Indigo Kirkland Tower camera, Mount Hood Meadows, and Seaside. Some gorgeous views out there. I was flying out towards Seaside earlier today. Coming up in the five o'clock hour, I'll show you some of those pictures. Going up to Mount Hood Meadows right now, we can see, oh, it just looks scarce. I mean, you can still see so much of that rock exposed up there. I mean, above the tree line. And then you look down here at the base and lots of grass exposed down there. Ah, 37 degrees, it's been lackluster for snow, but that's about to change in a big way. So as soon as we get to Thursday, Thursday in comes the rain for the valley, snow for the mountains, and this goes on all the way through Saturday. So a winter storm watch will be in effect for the Cascades, not just the Mount Hood area, but just want to give you a sample of what we're expecting. So accumulating snow starts for us on Thursday. Here's Thursday afternoon. And then we get through Friday, we're going to add on to that. But we're talking about snow, not just for elevations at our ski resorts. We're talking about down to the road level as low as 3,500 feet. Now look at what happens on Friday. We're seeing some big snow totals. This puts us in the category of more than a foot of snow, and this takes us just through Friday night. You add Saturday's totals and we could be seeing closer to two feet of snow. So it's something to watch out for with that winter storm watch again for the Cascades, those mountain passes. Futurecast showing us the rain shows up for the valley. As soon as we get to Thursday morning, heavy showers possible for you right there at the coast. There's your mountain snow showing up. You're going to see it first at Bachelor and then eventually up towards Mount Hood and the Washington Cascades and spreading out across eastern Oregon and eastern Washington for any of those road elevations above 3,000 feet. You need to pay attention to snow on the roadways, if not just falling from the sky. Here's Friday morning. Let's get into Saturday. Saturday, we're still watching the snowfall, but something's happening for us on Saturday going into Sunday. We're going to start to tap into some warmer temperatures, a lot more moisture on the way, and that means it's going to be raining on top of the snow that we just got Thursday, Friday and Saturday. So Sunday, it's rain on top of snow, so we'll keep you posted on any flooding concerns if we get there. Snow level forecast, we can see it clearly. Here's your snow on mountain passes. There's government camp 4,000 feet. This is Thursday going into Friday, and then that snow level jumps way up there, up to 7,000 feet as we get into early next week. If you're traveling beyond the state lines, if you're going out to Idaho or Montana, something to pay attention to as well if you're going to be traveling over mountain passes there, where again, feet of snow could be falling by the time we get to Saturday. Now let's talk about our water vapor imagery. This is where we look to find out where all that moisture is coming from. Just to note, here's Honolulu, and then here's the track right up to Portland. So watch what happens with this atmospheric river. So initially what we get is your garden variety rain Thursday and Friday. Saturday, here it comes. We're tapping into that train of moisture, taking us all the way into next Monday and Tuesday. It is rain aimed right at us. Of course, this is what forecast models are showing us now. That could change a bit. And if that changes direction at all, we'll see a change in our rainfall totals as we get to that four day period for Portland. It could be upwards of two or more inches of rain. Seven day forecast looks like this. So tomorrow it's dry. It's freezing in the morning, afternoon, 47, partly cloudy clouds increase Thursday morning. We're into the rain and we stay with it all the way through Tuesday of next week. All right. Thanks, Natasha. One more reminder. Well, we might have a couple.